Well, tonight I found this moth sitting in a pot looking a little uninteresting, but then I realized who I actually have here. And I bet you're more familiar with its caterpillar than the moth I am looking at. This is the Isabella tiger moth, the adult form of what is fondly known as the woolly bear caterpillar. The orange and black fuzzy wuzzy everyone sees in the fall, lumbering about looking for a nice spot to spend the winter. As you can see, the moth is rich shades of gold and yellow with some black spots and markings. This moth does have a proboscis or tongue and feeds from flowers at night, transferring pollen in the process. Since they are not as flashy as the caterpillar, they are much less well known. The caterpillar is found all over North America, and since it eats mostly weeds, you can find it almost anywhere. It is also long rumored to forecast the coming winter's severity by the thickness of the caterpillar's colored bands. Generally, the folklore says that if the orange band is wide, it will be a mild winter, but if the band is narrow, it will be severe. As you might imagine, this has actually been tested and has not turned out to correlate to any real weather occurrence. The caterpillar is so famous, though, that for over 40 years, Banner Elk, North Carolina, has held an annual woolly worm festival to bring people together in celebration of this lovely creature. In addition, woolly bear caterpillars have their own superpower, able to freeze solid in winter, then thaw out and continue eating in the spring. They can do this as they have a natural antifreeze in their blood, preventing ice crystals from forming in their cells for up to negative 90 degrees. So, after all that, thank you for spending a few minutes with me and this lovely moth.